Good day, guys. This is uh, Ron again, and per request from one of the comments, we are going to do some Soviet quick matches. Today we're facing off against Jackson Double A. New construction options. It looks like this map is Malvern Building. Cliffs, based off the initial construction terrain. Building. It seems like I'm in the top right, which means he's either options. in the bottom right or bottom left. Ah, shoot, I forgot what I'm New doing. Construction options. It's been a little while since I played this map, but I understand it completely. Essentially, my my strategy here is to set up my base until I get a war factory and then move on over to the gems. This is such an interesting map because there's so many different ways that you can go with it. Some of the top players, such as Marco, Tommy, I mean, they can eat you alive on this map. New construction options. Ah. Sorry about that. You know, anti-scouting here is is important, but for me, when I'm a Soviet player and I'm playing a, an allied player in such a map, I don't even worry a, a bit about anti-scouting simply because um, the Rocketeer negates that ability. New construction options. Building. All, a, all an allied player really has to do is make one Rocketeer and... He scouts the entire map with your anti-scout is essentially useless. So don't waste too much time against an allied player trying to anti-scout. Um, you'll notice here that I'll, I made two miners. I'm probably going to make three as long as I can scout this guy quick enough. And I sent my first miner over to the gem to get the gem started early. Insufficient well, I really should scout this guy. I'm talking too much and not playing enough, complete. but so be it. Cannot the reason why I sent this guy to the gems first was obviously to get a Building. to get as much of a head start on the gems as possible. That which is vitally important. Unit. Seems right. this guy is going to be a good match because he's already moved, so he knows what he's doing, which is complete. nice. So now Building. you'll see that when, for my base order, what I've accomplished so far is I've gotten. Two miners here, mine in the ore, two miners up here, mine in the gems, Unit and lost. another miner here. I'll build one more ore refinery, place it here so I'll have all my base, all my uh, ore fields covered with uh, ore refineries. Unit ready. And uh, then I'll start advancing on. I can either, there's two choices I can really do. I can either bring the fight to him and move my MCV over here, Beacon placed. Unit which ready. is something that's more along my style. I love doing that kind of thing, especially with the Soviets against against uh, the Unit Allies, because the Allies are a bit more weak in that area. Or, the other option is to move my MCV all the way over here and, and start uh, mining all of, all of these uh, orange gems. On a personal level, that, that strategy is probably the best strategy, because it's the safest and uh, Unit ready. the safest and the most monetarily Building. viable option. However, Unit ready. against the Allied team, as, as a Soviet player, complete. it can get very annoying when your base is all outstretched Waiting and you have to ready. defend against various Building. para drops, rocketeer attacks, Waiting and so order. forth. Sold. So, Training. the bottom line is Unit I am going, ready. where is he sending his MCV? Oh, he's sending his MCV back after complete. he set this up, which is, I think, a Unit poor ready. decision. Because personally... What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my MCV here. And we're going to have an all-out war. I don't. Ideally, I'd like to have a little bit more tanks. But actually, this guy is not going to allow me to do this. He has too nice of a. Or he has too many tanks for me to be messing around like this. Quite frankly. Well, here he comes. So maybe he'll come attack me, which would be nice because then I can just own this guy. He doesn't seem to Unit know what he's doing ready. with tank control here. Unit lost. He's going to get owned. Unit you can lost. see I'm targeting his tanks, which Unit is vitally ready. important in such a such a battle. Ah! I keep moving the screen. Sorry about that. Unit ready. You know, that this guy wasn't doing too bad until he decided to rush his tanks in a sideways manner. Unit ready. New which was options. kind of moronic. Building. And now, I mean, really, I could attack him now Unit and finish ready. this off. However, Building. I'm going to mine my time and 
to try to show you guys what I like to do when I expand my base. Some nice tips and strategies for expanding properly. One of the main things here is you're gonna you don't want to have that gap in your in your money when you're expanding your base. You want to do what I did there, which was send your miners over there early, one by one. I mean, you know, you just don't want to have eight mi six miners on these two ore fields while you're expanding your base over there. This guy has four war factors. I have to start getting this guy down a little bit. Otherwise, he's just going to outtake me while I sit here and talk. Construction complete. You know, the, the big problem with this guy is he's just not expanding. I mean... You can't live off of four war factories in one base. I mean, this guy has eight miners. Great. But he has one war field. And now due to his early malfunction of uh, tanks, he's not going to be able to win this. This game is over. I hope you guys learned a little bit about expanding, about the intricacies that go through a strategy when you're a Soviet player facing an ally player in such a map. It's too bad this guy was... Faltered in in the end, but thanks for watching.